Now we'll go back to the bag itself. We know where we want the handle now. So what we need to do is turn that then upside down. I want that one there. And that one there. And we want to leave this leave this sticking up. The pins need to be that way around. So we want over an inch sticking up. And that's both sides, handles are going on. So if we turn it over, match them up. So it's starting to match it up. We just put it in exactly the same place as the other one. But it doesn't matter if they're about if they're not exactly perfect matching because it's just for carrying shopping in. No one's gonna notice. There are my handles with it sticking up and it's right sides out. Now the bag finds what is the bottom and what is the top because and leave it inside out, well right sides on the inside and then what we do I hope you can see this. Punch the bottom up of the bag and put it in the lining. So the right sides of the bag are actually next to the right sides of the lining. And then just pull it out a bit so it matches. Now, you can do this with pins or without pins. But this is just showing you. If you get your seams, the strips, put them together. And pin. on this side, get the seams together, as you can see I've got different cotton colours on the zigzags, it's because if you've got some cotton on a bobbin and the colours that you're not going to use or you don't think you're going to use for a long time, use it up when you're doing zigzags like this. And that gives you your bag. You've met all the corners. You can even put pins in the middle of it. Take that to your sewing machine and sew all the way around this edge. So I'll do that and then I'll bring it back to you. Now we've sewn all round the top edge of the bag. Moment of truth. Didn't sleep much last night because I was thinking about this. You basically 
go it out so the lightning and the outside of the bag are there find this bottom edge that you didn't sew take it back to the sewing machine and sew it I just realised I didn't really uh, explain to you about top stitching the bottom of the lining there it is when it's come out and you can see the seams normal <laughs> inside but with as needed to turn the bag the right way out we needed to leave a gap we could have left a smaller one but why <laughs> so all I did was two bits of material I grabbed them and I folded one under and then the other side under pin them together if you want and then sewed along that line so that the raw edges are on the inside and that's how it turns out it doesn't match the other side it doesn't matter it's lining and it's the inside of the bag it's the bottom inside of the bag who's going to notice nobody because bags tend to have things in them which means it's covered up and not seen but you can see how you've got a nice mitered edge there it doesn't work out too well uh, on this but it enables you to go around a corner plus it means that you've learnt that trick of how to do a mitered edge so if you did a placemat you would have a corner like that you would have a corner like that you now know how to do that and that um, really will improve anything you make because it will look more professional but I've also top sewn all the way around the top you can see the cotton uh, I've used on the black you, you can see it on everything basically but it ties in with the handles so not bothered in the slightest about that but these handles you we left a good inch and a half in there we need to reinforce these because there's only two bits of stitching over these handles so you put a few bags of sugar in there and it'll come off so what we do is I'm going to take me a bit off the end make it easier You can't see it, but you can feel it. But well, it's several layers of material, so this can be quite difficult. So do as you normally would start off. A couple of stitches and then back a couple of stitches. And then make sure you're not sewing the bottom half of the bag to the top half or you'll have to unpick it and just sew down because like I said you can feel where that handle is and I'll come to the bottom of the handle now because it's more convenient to have the material on the left I'll turn it press reverse and reverse along I'm 
into it. Lift your foot. Once your needle's down, you can lift your foot and manoeuvre your material where you want it. And then just go up again. Now you can do a fancy cross, you can do up and down a few times, whichever you want. It's just to reinforce that so it ain't going to come apart. So that handle is on there for good. And just do the same on all your others. Yes, just had a show of my hair still wet. I did the footage last week and because I did the bag in a couple of days I didn't do an outro or anything so I'm doing one now there's the shopping bag both sides handles you can put things in it wherever you want <laughs> I was getting put something in it, but I couldn't bother. And I'll be taking this shopping with me. So <laughs> I doubt if there's anyone that lives around where I live uh, that subscribes to me. But if you see anyone carrying this shopping bag, you know it's me. Um, everyone's possibly sick to death of uh, the um, sewing ones so that's why I haven't done any more but I have been sewing an awful lot past week um, I've started a crumb quilt and um, I'm just going to do the top I'm not, not actually going to quilt it uh, I'm going to do a different style quilt top for the opposite side of it so it'll be totally reversible and both of them will be quilt type uh, and I'll show you the footage now this is going to be a crumb quilt blanket thing but these are four inch squares And you can see how little some of the pieces are and also how big some of them are as well but the pieces that would normally go in the bin or use them for packaging or whatever uh, I've gone nuts with this I normally spend one or two days a week sewing I've spent nearly every day, well every day in the last week I have come up and done some sewing. No, one day I didn't, I did it, just dog food. So I've done, I've done five out of the last seven days sewing because I thoroughly enjoy putting these bits together and I'm about three quarters of the way through doing all the blocks for the size of blankets I want yeah, I thoroughly enjoy doing that that's why I'm back up here again today and going to do some more of it but while I was doing it I thought yeah this would actually be something really really good for an office and you don't have to make it into a quilt size you can make it in, into a bag or um, a placemat or a pot warmer or anything like that or just make blocks up and save them until you don't know what you want to do with them so if anyone's 
interested, well, no, I, I haven't done any footage of me making the crumb quilts because I thought I'd done enough uh, sewing it at the moment and people have had it up to here. <laughs> Um, I may do some footage and use it at a later date, then again I may just make another one at a later date and bring you along, um, or make a smaller one, I don't know, something. <laughs> if, if there's anyone out there that um, wants to see how something's made, so um, put it in the comments, let me know. So, it might be an idea I haven't come up with. I mean, I'm, I made a table run in the other week and a coaster. You've seen the um, apron and my canny mat and pot holders and that. Um, there in the video <laughs> I've been sewing again <laughs> so I'm going to have a look at them uh, there's no tutorial on them it's just showing what I've done um, there's no footage of my table runner but if anyone's interested uh, I can quite easily do that same as I could quite easily do it again and give it away as a, a, a present or something like that. Or a giveaway. Ooh, that's an idea. I was thinking, eventually, <laughs> cross fingers, I might get up um, my subscribers higher and I'll do another giveaway. So if you've got any ideas for anything you would like made, by sewing, there is not going to take me like a month to make doing it every day, which the crumb quilt is doing at the moment. Then put a comment down below, and then what I'll do nearer the time as all the comments, I'll go through them and I'll choose one of them and make it and then if you win you win what you wanted well I'm babbling now so I'm gonna go with my crumb quilt yay I'm back thank you bye it's a perfect